Hello and welcome to North 100 Showdown, a Canadian Highlander throwdown. My name is Wheeler and joining me today I have a search. Are you Wheeler? Without the beard you kind of look like his large adult son. I drank from the Fountain of Youth and I regret everything. <laughs> Speaking of regret, we also have Ben on tech. Serge is back. Hey! He's back. Wow. Couldn't, and, couldn't and, hold on to Nelson, huh? Well, I mean... <laughs> He, he, uh, his rider is fairly long. Mm, um, that's true. Only wants brown Skittles. Uh, ha insists on mono black demon storm. Yeah, it's, uh, it's just too much. So we're glad to have you back, Serge. Good. Thank you for having me. It's great to be back. <laughs> you know what we're actually thankful for? The support that we receive over at patreon.com slash loading ready run. Because of all that, we couldn't do all of this. And if you like all of this, you can look at the description down below for more information on the format or the deck list we're playing today. Lost Caverns of Ixalan is out, and boy are my arms tired. <laughs> Seriously, there's too many sets. Uh, but we decided to celebrate the release by playing two of the typal decks of all time in, sure. in Highlander. Yeah. Uh, I'm playing Vampires. Uh, black white vampires shout out to angel ai amethyst mm. uh, member of the community avid canlander player and a vampire degenerate uh <laughs> i looked at her list and thought wow i can do better <laughs> it's okay we're friends it's a, it's uh -huh. a joke it's a bit it's a bit uh -huh. um no i didn't actually think that i did look at it and go i wonder if i can get greedier <laughs> Uh, so I have taken Black White Vampires and I've made it more of a grindier mid-range kind sure. of deck. Um, how successful that'll be, we'll we'll have to see. Now it's only White Black, no Red, eh? No Red. Interesting. There's a version of this deck that you can play more aggressive yeah. and Mardu. Yeah, um, gives you all the haste four drops and some like really spicy ones. Yeah, but I gotta tell you, it took me long enough to get to something here that I was like, this is this is great. <laughs> this right. is what I want to do. Um, and I was tired, sir. That's fair. That's fair. My points are Mox, Mox, Soul Ring. I go a bit bigger. I have sure. five drops in my deck. Sick. Yeah, it's okay. wild. What do you play? I'm playing Merfolk, and it's exactly what you think it is. Mm -hmm. Goblins. <laughs> uh, so I'm playing sort of a tempo strategy. I want to establish a presence. I have a little bit of disruption, so I just want to wait just ever so slightly and just boop. Right, and just try and get that one key spell out of the way. My points are Mox, Mox, Umezawa's Jite, Mana Drain, and True Name Nemesis. That is indeed a merfolk. That's a merfolk. Man, okay. some of these cards. True Name is a merfolk. Mm -hmm. Hull Breacher is a merfolk. Mm -hmm. And that's, oh, that's about it, actually. Oh, yeah? Well, Orcish Bo... <laughs> uh, the One Ring... Uh... Uh, uh, stone for... Oh... <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bloodgast! Bloodgast is... Uh, uh, well, uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, great. Hey, guess who won the die roll? I, I did, actually, yeah. <laughs> he's, he's visiting. We gotta, we gotta you know, treat our guests. I gotta win eventually. <laughs> Statistically, you can't win them all. Okay, well, I mean, this hand feels like cheating, so hopefully you kept a good one. Sure. Great. Good luck. <laughs> Thanks, friends. We're going to lead with the old wooded foothills. Mm -hmm. Pass. I'm going to lead with Cavern of Souls. I would like to name Merfolk. <laughs> I'll name Vampires. All right. Mox Pearl? Uh, yikes. Okay. Mox Jet. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah. Okay. Um, now, the rest of my hand <laughs> does contain a lot of land, but I hope that this will get me some kind of value. I'm going to tap three using my uncounterable mana, and I'm going to play Welcoming Vampire. Two, three, uh, flyer. Whenever one or more creatures with power two or less ETB under my control, I draw a card, but only once per turn. Go ahead. I will end step, crack this land. Mm -hmm. That was a good start. This might be the hottest Vampires has ever run. <laughs> <laughs> like... Any day now I'm going to find this breeding pool. Any day. Any day. Ooh. Yeah, like, what does Rishi P do against this, this mindless, this senseless violence? It does turn on your counter magic. It, just kind of nice. it does turn on my counter magic, which is, in fact, kind of nice. He just said what I said. <laughs> but slower. And that mm -hmm. makes it better. Yep. That's my whole shtick with comedy. Slow <laughs> and better. And better, yeah. Huh? <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> oh, hey, a one drop. Sorry, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> 
Uh, Jesus, dude. Yeah. And it flies. And it flies? What is, is it? A, it's a 2-3? Two, 2-3. Three? Two, three. doesn't even have the, the decency to be a 3-2? Mm -mm. Well, you know what also flies as a botanical sanctum is this Agaia's Skyfolk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Sago, I honestly thought you were going to mind twist me, so this is, no, 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 this no. is not as bad. The card value is going to be bad. Why would, why would I ever do something so cruel to you? You're going to mind twist me right now, I'm aren't you? All right, all right, all right. You have my word. Uh, I'm going to play Hive of the Eye Tyrant. Which comes into play tap because uh, I have <laughs> two. I, I have only two lands here, contrary to what my mana would show you. You gonna you gonna tap it? No, untapped. Oh, you, I, okay. Pardon me. Um, hmm. I am then going to play tap. Uh, <laughs> eh, actually, it's smarter for me to save this in case you have days. That showcases that I have two spells I'm playing. Uh, I'm going to cast Cordial Vampire, which means I have to tap like this. Yeah. Uh, two mana, one, one, vampire. Whenever it or another creature dies, I put a one, one counter on each vampire uh, I control. Okay. So trigger. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I draw. Yeah. Oh. That's pretty good. Uh, I'm going to tap two, and I'm going to cast Amalia Benavides Aguere. Uh, white and a black for a two, two, ward three. Legendary Vampire. Uh, whenever I gain life, she explores. And then I destroy each other creature if her power is exactly 20. Noted. All right. She's a two-drop vampire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. why I'm playing. Yeah. Uh, combat. Yeah, I go to 17. Attack for two. And then I'll go to pass the turn. Untap. Draw for the turn. Uh, my own Cavernous Souls. Naming Vampire. Naming Vampire. <laughs> Uh, no, we're going to name, um, naming vampire. No, we're going to name our folk. Okay. Oh. <sighs> you kind of got in your head a little there. Yeah. I'm going to cast a Thieving Skydiver, Ooh. where X is equal to one. And I'm going to take your white moxin. Uh, no, I'm going to take your black moxin. I think black, black is more disruptive than white, white for your deck. Do have more black cards than white cards here. Yeah. So it enters the battlefield if it was kicked. Gain control of target artifact with converter mana cost X or less. That's it. And then it can't be zero, so I couldn't play it last turn, which is a little bit frustrating. Uh, but I have that. I have three. I have four three power in the air. And then I'm going to say I'm going to say go. Untap. Draw. <clears throat> That's pretty good. Um, I'm going to play a basic swap. Yeah. He got his mocks back. <laughs> that was, that was a good joke. Thank I like you. that. I like that one. Um, this gives me more options if I do this. I think I want more options. I'm going to cast Legion's Landing. Uh, so when it enters the battlefield, I make a 1-1 vampire with lifelink. And then whenever I attack with three or more creatures, I transform it into a Danto, which starts pooping out vampires. Is yeah. that good? Yeah. Is this cast or ETB? Uh, it's ETB. Sick. All right. So I get this vampire. And then welcoming vampire is going to trigger, which will draw me a card. Man, the amount of value you're getting out of this is extremely frustrating. It's incredible what three <laughs> man on turn one can do. <laughs> Man, Mentor of the Meek has really come a long way, huh? Yeah. This card is genuinely quite yeah, good. It, yeah, yes. Agreed. Um, then, I'm going to tap three, and I'm going to play Soren Imperious Bloodlord. So, so it's uh, three mana, four loyalty, plus one target creature I control gains death touch and lifelink until end of turn, and if it's a vampire, I get a 1-1 one, one counter on it. Plus one, I can sack a vampire when I do. It deals three damage to any target and I gain three life. Minus three, I can put a vampire card from my hand into play. Unfortunate. Yeah, it's going to resolve. Okay. I am going to tick up and I'm going to sacrifice this vampire token. That ability to yes. crap. I'm going to deal three to your skyfolk. Yeah. I'm going to gain three life. Yep. Amalia is going to trigger. Yep. This, sorry, 
Yes, get triggered. I got a lot. I got yeah, a lot yeah, of yeah, triggers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, cordial vampire triggers because another creature died, which was my vampire token. So everything gets everything. Everything gets buffed, bro. <laughs> um, and then because your creature died, everything gets buffed again. And then Amalia is going to explore, which will put the silent clearing into my hand. Combat. Yeah. Wow. I'm going to attack with these three and transform my legion's landing. Yeah. Um, how much damage is that? That's four. Four, four seven, uh, eleven. Eleven damage? I go to six? If I block here, I'm just dead. I think I need to keep a little bit of the boar. I'm going to go to six, and I, okay. I might just be dead here. Your start was very good. This Yes. Go ahead. I don't feel as though my start, for those at home watching, throwing uh, beverages at their computer monitor... I don't believe this is emblematic of this no. deck. No. Yeah, um, regardless of what I play, you just sack because you can make a, a creature off of a Danto. Yeah. Yeah, kill one of my blockers. These get plus two, plus two. And then I would need three creatures. Good lord. Why you do this? Uh, my welcoming vampire was very kind to me. My welcoming vampire is very kind to me. <sighs> well, we'll play it out. Uh, I'm going to cast a Kamena Speaker. Mm -hmm. It's a 2-2. Two -two. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, can I even try and force damage onto that? Gets down to 3. It doesn't do anything. I need the blockers. Go. Untap. I'm going to play a Scrubland. Mm, it wasn't even the land you drew off the Explore. This I guy. I don't want to take damage. This guy. Uh, I'm going to tap my Cavern of Souls. Yeah. And I'm going to play Valentin, Dean of the Vein. Yeah. Draw a card. Yeah. I'm going to uptick. And I'm going to choose your speaker. Mm -hmm. And sacrifice this to dome that. I'm going to respond. You still get a triggered ability. Uh, yeah. Or sorry. This is a, this is a, what is it? So, I, oh, even before, even, as soon as it happens, I don't get to know what the target is. You activate it, and then, hold on, let's read. Uh, you may sacrifice a vampire. When you do, Soren deals three damage to any target, and you gain three life. So I don't even know what it is ahead of time. Eh? Great. Is, is I'm asking for confirmation. Oh, I'm, I'm less of a judge than I've ever been. At these points, when I'm on camera? I mean, we can, we can through movie magic, we can double check. Let's do it. I'm fairly sure that's how it works, just as a heads up. Ben, cue the movie magic, please. And we're back and we're smarter because of it. Uh, so, Surge, I activate this ability. Yeah. You can respond to that, but I don't have to sacrifice anything yet. Sure. If you say, okay, go, then I can sacrifice and I pick the target. Sure. You can then respond to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So we have a vampire that's been sacrificed. We have a bunch of triggered abilities yes. on the stack to put a plus one, plus one on everything. And you're going to try and destroy my Kamena Speaker. That's correct. Uh, I do have some window of counterplay here. I have one of the new cards, Singer Ooh. of Swift Rivers. Okay. It's a 3-2 with flash. When it enters the battlefield, I may put a shield counter on another target creature I control, uh, which says, if it would be dealt damage or destroyed, remove the shield counter instead. And it's not like old school regeneration, so I don't even have to tap it. Wow. Okay. This card is cracked. What yeah, the hell? This card, yeah. is, this card is And wild. also, you may cast merfolks as though they had flash. So I will, I will be able to prevent that, and I still think I'm dead. <laughs> But I got to showcase a shiny new card. Yeah, I mean, so, that's that's pretty good. Your, your board gets plus one, plus one. This gets bigger, and then I still gain the three life. Okay. Because it doesn't deal the damage, but it says, uh, and I gain three life. So you also get to explore. So I get to explore. Uh, it's an isolated it's ship. Another land. I'll put that yeah, how many cards? Dude, you've drawn so many cards this game? These two have been yeah. popping off, my dear boy. I needed that to get to 20 to kill your whole board. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, then I'm going to animate my Hive of the Eye Tyrant. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go to combat. And then exile, presumably, yes. my creature. Yeah. Can I block in any way, in which case I'm not just dead, or that upgrades my board profitably? You, well, you can block and not die. Yeah, this game is still pretty over. Yeah. I don't have any counterplay. Dang. 
Yeah. So your block is this goes yeah, here, here, this goes here, this that goes, goes there. here. My whole board dies. I don't even trade up anywhere. You take I mean, three. I mean, I could theoretically try and block that. Just to, well, if I trade, then yeah. <laughs> then your board and your board's most. This does later. have mana, right. so you need. Oh to my god! Yeah. yeah. No, we'll just call that dead. I had a good hand with Master of the Pearl Trident, Master of Waves. Holy smokes! Like. On the play, even without fast mana, like my temple play was huge That's with good. Thieving Sky Diver in order to take your mocks in. I was like, this is great if you have a fast start. But double mock start? My my hand was Dude. Double Mocks, Cavern, Welcoming Vampire, uh, Scrubland, Sorin, and Hive of the Eye Tyrant. So it's a little risky. Wow! It's a little risky. You didn't even have the second creature? No. Oh my god. You drew gas. Yeah. <laughs> I just need to draw one. I mean, this deck is yeah, yeah. I mean, mostly creatures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, but, A. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That is the best this deck will that ever is, feel. Vampires <laughs> is never going to look better than it did right now. And all it took was <laughs> box, box. <laughs> box, box. <laughs> Wow. Whatever. I mean, a very deserved win. Man, Thank the value engine off of Adanto, the Welcoming Vampire, and the Soren. <laughs> when has three mana Soren ever looked that good? So if we can do that every game, <laughs> vampires may just be top tier. Oh my god. Yeah, people looking right now, it's like, dude, vampires are dude, cracked yeah, in actually, 2023. Vampires is kind of sick. Yeah. Can you believe he beat that deck with no interaction from his opponent? I mean, on the other side of the table, I am like that Tashana, or no, Swift Rivers... They're brand new cards. Yeah. The Shield Flash Merfolk didn't cross my mind. And if I had any other, like, if I just had a normal start, like yeah. a, a comparable start, like, I'm blown out. Well, that's it. the thing. I had a Vampire Lord in hand, and I'm like, great, I can turn my Flyer into a 3-3. Three, three, kills mm -hmm. you 2-3 all day. And you're like, yeah. ha-ha, I'll just sacrifice my own board and give my team plus 2 plus 2. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, that was sick. That was fantastic. Now it's my turn to pop off, Mr. Wheeler. <laughs> hey, look, I'm not trying to goad you into a false sense of security, but I am wholly ready for the reverse 2-0 sweep. <laughs> no, you're good. You need to cut my deck. Because if I draw double mocks again, I'm not going to hear the end of it. Yeah, but right. if you cut my deck and I draw double Wait, no, 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 I'm not supposed to cut it, because that's how you always draw the double mocks. Unfo Ooh. Oh, Surge, you charmer, you. All right, I will be mulliganing. When you rip four blue merfolk and your land is basic forest wasteland. This hand looked so good. You gave me Aether Vile, Mind Twist, Gifted Aetherborn, Seasoned Dungeoneer, uh -huh, that's and only one vampire. Land. Oh, yeah, all right. We're both going to six. Yeah. Who do you think is advantaged in Mulligan in here? Probably you. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I my deck gains value by playing Magic the Gathering. Like, when I say that, I mean by <laughs> turning my creature sideways, playing more creatures, doing all that stuff. Whereas I think some of the value on your cards, they're in the single card. Does that make sense? The individual power level is higher for me. Your synergy is stronger. Yeah. It's, well, I don't even know if that's true. I, what I mean is that, like, you can have merfolk that explore or that sure. let you protect something on ETB. Whereas I need to... Play my welcoming vampire. Yeah. Then play my cards yeah, 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 for the yeah, vampire yeah. to get any, you know, concrete of value out of it. You are good. I I mean Right, sorry, I'm, I'm gonna have to you away from the mox mox here. I apologize. I'm not a superstitious man, but there this, you go, bud. This, yeah. this gets yeah. me. Keep bottom. Do you want to see some proper mulligan procedure? Sure. Put this card on the bottom. I'm going to mulligan. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that whole debacle on yeah. Twitter. It's a wild one. Not a lot of people know that. You decide when you're uh, resolving mulligans. Yeah. You, if I, for instance, in that case, I went to six, so I have to put a card on the bottom. Usually people go, I'm not keeping this. And sure. then they just put it away. You're supposed to select the card to put on a bottom and then decide whether or not you're keeping it. We don't do it that way because one, Arena doesn't, doesn't do it that way. Yeah. Two, Magic Online doesn't do it that way. And three, 
it's just a waste of time. Yeah. Right? yeah. And who's getting who's getting upset about that? Well, I, you people, know what? Magic discourse. That's people, fair. Yeah. You know people getting, weren't getting upset. upset. It was more just like, a, hey, check out this Did weird you know? Post. Sure. Yeah. I mean, okay, that's kind of interesting. Yeah. I... I always assume the worst in, in, in a tradition, of course, that somebody was like very butthurt about it, and you're like, uh, a pro was given a game loss because their opponent called it on it, and the head judge is like, you know what, they're right. Yeah. <laughs> what, well, if I, what if I don't cut? Recorded no, footage of right Surge right. being more cynical than me. Wow. You're at five? Yeah. So you're saying there's a chance. <laughs> No, this hand's good. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I'm doing this. All right. All right, good luck. But can it beat turn one Richard and Dog Hand? <laughs> I mean, honestly, no. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Swamp. You got a one drop? Yeah. Soul ring. Oh, Go Jesus. Ahead. That is a good hand. I promise I didn't mulligan to my points. Yeah. So I, uh... Mutable. Uh-huh. Pass. Yeah. Upkeep. Tap your swamp. Oof. Drop. I knew you would do that. Uh, I'm going to play a godless. No! Oh, all right. 18. I swear to God, if it's welcoming vampire. <laughs> it's welcoming vampire. <laughs> oh! No! Good! Uh, you... Uh, you're fun. Yep, whatever. Uh, go ahead. Bro! Writes down spell snare. Uh, I'm going to play... Is it, is it a good sign when your opponent starts cackling over their draw? I'm going to play a Flooded Strand. Yep. I'm going to crack it for a basic island. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Then I'm going to cast a Merfolk Sovereign. Okay. Other Merfolk I control get plus one, plus one. This is a 2-3. I'll just pass. Draw. Ooh. Solving. I'm going to float a colorless, and I am going to play a Stoneforge Mystic. This guy. I have two triggered abilities. My yeah. favorite vampire. I'm trying to resolve the Mystic ability, then the Welcoming Vampire. Uh-huh. I am going to grab Shadow Spear. <clears throat> I'm going to grab Shadow Spear. Yeah. This deck plays like three, no, four non-vampires out of like 42 well, We saw Seasoned Dungeoneer, which means you're probably also playing White Plume Adventure yeah. and Stoneforge. I think it's Stoneforge, White Plume, CZDZ. And Ravenloft, and, right? No, Orcish oh. Bowmasters. Oh, sure, okay. Yeah, but I think that's it. Which these decks typically, except for this one, Burfo got like 20 new cards, so. You're fine. Okay. Um, and then draw off Welcoming Vampire. Yeah. Ooh. I'm going to play my Caves of Koilos as my land for the turn. Uh, I'm going to go to 17, still floating a colorless mana, by the way, which I'll represent with that. Uh, I'm going to play Bartolome mm -hmm. del Presidio. Um, and that's sacrifice a creature, put a plus one, plus one counter on it? Sacrifice a creature or artifact. Yeah. Put a plus one, plus one counter on it. Okay. Um, I'm going to then... Convoke. Okay. And I'm going to play Markov Baron. Uh, so convoke a black off of Bartolome and yeah. then two from there. Uh, two, two, lifelink, other vamps I control get plus one, plus one. And it has Convoke and Madness. Yeah, and you still have the one floating. Finally, I'm going to use the one floating and cast Shadow Spear. So it's a 3-3 three, three now. Which one? Because it's all, they all have... This is a 3-4, this is a 3-2. Three, 3-4, three, three, okay. Uh, okay. Go ahead. This hand was pretty good. <laughs> this frustrates the surge. This <laughs> hand was pretty good. With a mole to five, bro. All right, one card in hand. <laughs> it's not the Shadow Spear. Nope. Just, just 
slowly peeking. Ha! <laughs> it scared me. <laughs> it surprised me so much. I didn't even have my microphone on when I yelped. <laughs> The fact that that was a lord is so frustrating for me. Because <laughs> this is the problem. Yeah. And I haven't answered to it until you played the lord. Oh, you had so an answer to it. I do. And I'm just really wondering what my sequencing is supposed to be right now, especially if we have one card in hand. Oh, you have uh, Voldalian. I have Voldalian Mind Singer. Mind Singer, yeah. So uh, I could cast it right now, and Entrance Play is a 3 3 because I have a Merfolk Sovereign, mm -hmm. which means I can't take it right now. Correct. Uh, there's a world in which it's maybe correct to take your lord. You can sacrifice it, but that's still fine for me. It makes your board smaller. Yeah, I don't hate that. But if I if I wait a turn to play another land to kick it, and you equip with a shadow spear, that's also bad for me all of a sudden. Yeah. <laughs> and that puts me one turn even further behind. I mean, this at least uses my mana. It gives me a chance to do some stuff here. It's like it's kind of awkward, but I think that's what I'm supposed to do. I think I'm supposed to bring this as a three three. Take your Lord. I have a pretty big board. You get three hits in the air, and you get a turn to cantrip off of it, but at least it buys me a turn. Uh -huh. It's like pretty medium, but I think I think that's what I'm supposed to do. I don't know. Three mana Chupacabra It's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to crack this Verdant Catacombs for a Tropical Island. Of all the cards it could have been, dude, like you needed exactly that. Because if I have this on my side in the Merfolk deck and I start drawing cards, mm -hmm. suddenly, suddenly... Why aren't you playing this then? Why aren't I playing a vampire? <laughs> yeah. Why, that's a very good question. There's some white Merfolk. Man, probably the best, the best card in the Merfolk deck is actually the vampire. Um, DM, I do that. I'm going to sack it to Bartolome. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. R.I.P. <laughs> I'm going to pass to you uh, in your upkeep. I'm going to tap down your dual land. Okay. Draw. Hmm. Would you like to cut? All right. Okay. This can tap to make something unblockable. Target Merfolk creature is unblockable. So if you bring in the initiative, you're just gifting it to me. Yeah. I'm trying to think if that's worth it. You know, bringing in the initiative. I think it is. I'm going to go to 16. White Plume? White Plume. Cool, cool vampire. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Made it myself. I love Orzov Equipment Initiative featuring <laughs> vampires. Yeah, go get yourself a basic. Yeah. That was the one card you had in hand? Yeah. The only... Gee, what was this? Five! The only thing that makes me feel slightly better is you don't draw a card off it. It was um, Land, Land, Soul Ring, Welcoming Vampire, Stoneforge. Or no, Markov Baron. And I drew Stoneforge. Bro. <laughs> you cut my deck, dude. <laughs> you cut did. my deck. Yeah, last time I cut your deck, I cut you to Blood Artist, too. I mean, you could have done it right here. I do play Blood Artist. Uh, I'm going to play that planes. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to equip this Shadow Spear mm -hmm. to something. Am I just... That's a 3-3. Three, three. This is a 3-3. Three, three. I equip it to this, then it's a 2-3. That doesn't really work out the way I want it to. I'm yeah, going to equip it Like the flyer is the, the best one there. The other thing you could do is like here and then try and force some blocks. I'm pretty happy to have you sack some stuff though. Yeah, there's a chance that I should actually just do it to this so that I don't have to sacrifice anything. No, I still have to sacrifice something if I do that. Yeah. You're not blocking that. Yeah, I'll just do this. Uh, combat. Yeah. I'll attack with these two. So if I block here... You have to sack two things if you don't want to trade. Mm -hmm. Or we just trade. Mm -hmm. And the two things you'd sack, it's or an artifact, so you could technically sack this Sol Ring. Mm -hmm. One card in hand. I can't block that. Um, is there a world in which I'm racing you? 
Currently taking seven, six. Yeah, six. Gaining three, you go to 19. I'll block. Uh, yeah, maybe this is why I like the Shadow Spear on the Bartolome. But you sounded very convincing. So I believed you. Um, I'm going to sack and sack. Okay. To get this up to three. Yep. Uh, I take three. I go to 15. You gain three. You go to 19. Then I'm going to pass and untap my Bartolome. Yep. With my white plume. <clears throat> Land for the turn. Uh, green, blue. I'm going to play another Lord, Merfolk Mistbinder. Yes. Uh, I'm going to make the. I'm going to animate Mutavolt. That cracks in as a 4 4. Do I need that as a blocker? If I leave that as a blocker, tap to make it unblockable. Trundle in for a million. I don't want to block with that, which means I don't tap your land down. Uh, I take the initiative, which is kind of cool. Sorry, just like... Take your time. Trying to think stuff through here. So I get the initiative back, and then you get it back regardless because you have a flyer. So we just keep trading this thing back and forth. Uh, option number one. Is it, it's just like, is it worth it to restrict your mana? I think it is. I think it is. Okay. Uh, we're going to animate Mutable. Uh, this is a 4-4 four, a four, four Merfolk Vampire. Mm-hmm. Unblockable. Okay. Hit you for four. I go to 15, you take the initiative. Yes, please, thank you. Uh, I'm going to get a basic island and put it into my hand. Actually, I'm just going to fetch right now while I'm at it. Okay. So I just, I don't have to do it in your upkeep. Get another island here. Uh, and then I'm going to how dead am I if I do tap everything? So restricting the mana is good um, because then it restricts your mana, cuts you down to three, redu reduces the chances of you double spelling if you can't trip off of that. Um, if you rip a removal spell, am I dead? No. Three plus five plus three is 11. So I'm not dead, but it yeah. hurts. Yeah. <clears throat> Am I happy to trade with your white plume? You know what? Not untapping is pretty huge. That's fine. So yeah, I'll uh, I'll pass to you. Upkeep. I'll tap your dual land. Sure. Draw. Sure. Ooh. Does this do anything? What is in my deck? <laughs> what is in my deck? Truthfully, this would be the target that I would want to get. I have kind of a cool line here, oh. but I might... You got like a diabolic intent or something? I'm trying to figure out what you're working on here. No, I'll show it because I don't think it matters too much. I have a Forerunner of the Legion. Oh, puts a vampire on top or whatever? Yes, and then but it's also 2-2, two, two, so I can layer the trigger yeah. from my 2 to the thing on top and immediately draw it. Yeah, and then you could convoke with the, uh, the Lord or whatever. Right, I'm going to play my land. So. Okay. If I had the Lord in my deck is a great one because I play it, tutor that, and then I can convoke up the Lord. And in fact, this can let me untap whatever I convoke for. Sure. Um, do I need to do that? Because I can move this over to my white plume and then I can crack in and you can't uh, Trade. walk profitably. Yep. And I untap that. Is that worth the pressure? Do I lose this game if I let you start to crawl back in? Do I lose this game if I develop a forerunner? Probably not. Um, yeah, let's do it like that. I'm going to tap three. I'm going to play forerunner of the legion. Uh, so two two that tutors up a vampire and puts it on top of my deck and says whenever another vamp enters the battlefield under my control, target creature gets plus one plus one. Uh, so I'm going to layer the trigger so that I tutor and then I get to draw a card. Yeah, off welcoming vampire. I have some stuff in mind. I don't think I have anything that I can cast this turn. Yeah, right. for a single mana? Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, I could just get a Lord. Or I could go bigger. 
Yeah, let's go bigger. Mm. I'm going to take advantage of the size of this deck, even if you have this Rashad and Dock Hand, or Deck Hand, or whatever it's called. Uh, I'm going to put the Queen's Bay Paladin on top. Five mana. <laughs> I don't know if this Delightful. is Delightful. Right Whenever it <laughs> enters the battlefield or attacks, you turn up to one target vampire from your graveyard to the battlefield with a finality counter onto it and lose mana equal to its, or lose life equal to its mana value. Yeah. Oofa la doofa. All right. So this goes on top and then I draw it immediately from my Yeah, vampire. and that's the only card you have in hand. Yep. Delightful. Uh, combat. Yeah. I'm going to attack with my welcoming vampire and Bartolome. Which is nine damage and you gain three life. No, eight damage. Currently eight damage. Currently eight damage. You could sack everything, it's mm -hmm. true. Wait, you could sack two I things. I could sack two things. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, uh, I need to, do I need to do this math? Uh, yeah, that's fine. No blocks. Sure. So I'll take eight and go to six. And you gain three and go to 18. Mm -hmm. I get the initiative. Yep. Uh, I am going to go... I can go to the Lost Well to try and find a land to Queen's Bay Paladin you for sure next turn. Mm. But I think it's just better if I go to the Forge. So you can five me next turn or whatever? Yeah. yeah. yeah set up uh, the trap. Yeah. Uh, two on this. And then I'm going to pass and untap my... Life Linkers is probably one. Welcoming Vampire. Yeah. All right. Uh, I need a good draw. I need a good draw. That ain't it. No. Oh. That ain't it. Oh, no. No, not the like three, this. The three lands in hand. Yeah. What are these draws? I don't know. <laughs> so, like, I can crack for a fun amount here, because I've got, like, double Lord, Muta Vault, Unblockable, mm -hmm. uh, and I can get the initiative back, but with no ability to draw or cantrip and no ability to counterplay in hand, I'm just dead on the crack back. Yeah. We do probably have time for a let's third do, game, let's though. Let's do a third Yeah, game. yeah, Again, yeah. I don't think this was... I was absolutely not trying to sell this list short. No, 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 this no. It just felt... I mean, fast mana is... Uh, go to fast I mana. I mean, turn one vampire, a welcoming vampire, <laughs> and turn two welcoming vampire? <laughs> like... I don't understand. I don't understand. It's just like how the last time we played together, you just had the one ring. Every game. Every game, man. And like, I don't I don't know. There's not a there's not a ton of disruption in this deck. Yeah. But even then, like the speed with which you're bringing stuff out, I've had answers. And again, the exact sequencing. I could have taken that vampire with anything else except for that exact sequencing, which is absurd. You're cutting my deck, dude. I don't know what to do. Yeah, tell I'm you. not. I'm not. I'm not touching it. Not, no, you have. No, I refuse. Oh my god. Yeah, cut it yourself. Okay, Ben, tell me when. Uh, ben, I'm through the table, Ben. <laughs> ben, tell me when. Uh, uh. Ben. Ben, please. <laughs> When? Okay. Hey, I'm not cutting. Okay. Okay. <gasps> no! <laughs> no! Look at that. It was Stop the, it. Look at, it was the welcoming vampire. <laughs> get it Get it out of here. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. 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 No, draw your seven. Maybe I'm not drawing this, I'm, this, this welcoming. I'm going to put seven aside and then randomize the rest of my deck. It's cursed. I did. How? You can't keep getting away with this. I was going to say, the card and the sleeve are not marked, but they might now be because you <laughs> threw it on the ground. <laughs> oh, yeah. I swear to God. <laughs> Second welcoming vampire? <laughs> Wait, hold on. How many welcoming vampires in this list? I'm going to six, by the way. Uh, I'll keep this. Okay. That's actually kind of cool. Yeah, bottom. Good luck, friend. Good luck. Woodland. Go. Swamp. Mmm. Inquisition of Coastal. <laughs> Counterspell. 
Yeah. I wish. Uh, Branch Walker, Thada Adele, Land Land. Oh. I don't think I like either of these. Um... Counterspell's a little awkward for me. Uh, I'm going to take your Branch Walker. Yeah. And then that'll be a pass. Uh, end step. 19. Yeah. Boop. <clears throat> Labreeding Pool. i have been sequencing a little bit different because um, some versions of this list were playing back to basics. And mm -hmm. so I was being a little conservative. <clears throat> like, it never made a difference, but... So the reason that Back to Basics is out of this list now is that you have a more even split between blue and green. Mm. Um, whereas previously you had some green cards, but like if you ordered, like you could sequence your lands in such a way that you fetch at the end and then sure. put a green card there sure, in case sure, you sure. want to play around, like drawing Back to Basics or whatever. Um, but now you just got so many good green fish. Like, arguably, the best merfolk from Lost Caverns are all green. No, you're good. I was like, why is my hands so <clears throat> empty all of a sudden? <laughs> Hinterland Harbor, uh, say go. Drop. Swamp. Uh, Valentin, Dean of the Vein. Hmm. Resolves. Go ahead. End step, trickster. Unbelievable, this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Merfolk trickster. Thank you. Meet a vault. Mm -hmm. To you. 18. You know what? I think I want to be proactive here. I noticed you missed white. I'm going to go with that Adele right now. Sure. And I'll try holding up counterspell after this. Okay. Go. This is where I get absolutely wrecked by the stupid vampire because he's got the white source. No! I'll cast Welcoming <laughs> Vamp. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, all right. Uh, I'll, it's not bad. I'll attack you for one. 18. Uh, I go to 19. I go to 19. Yeah. And then I'm going to cast Nighthawk Scavenger. That's really good, too. Uh, so it's a 1-3 Flying Death Touch Lifelink, but its power, is equal, well, its power is equal to one plus number of <clears throat> card types in your graveyard. So it's currently a 3-3. Three, 3-3 three. Three, three Death Touch. Death Touch, Life Link, a flying. Yep. Go ahead. Your hand is Counterspell, Unknown, Unknown. Correct. Hmm. Polluted Delta. Uh huh. Go. Combat. Mm. <clears throat> Three in the air. Uh, 15. 22. <clears throat> Go ahead. Uh, I'll crack it instead. Sure. Draw. Uh huh. Would you like to cut? No, you're good. Draw that welcoming vampire. Unbelievable. Land for the turn. Mm hmm. Animate. Mm hmm. Ring, 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 ring. Swing in for six. <clears throat> Before blocks, I'm going to cast Orcish Bowmasters. Cool vampire. It's one of like four. I think I don't have a single creature in this deck that is not a vampire. Uh, not a vampire. Mm. <laughs> not no, not no, a no. vampire. No, that's wow. Not true. Well, Bold well. of you, sir. That's not a, a real a real folk. trendsetter. <laughs> yeah. So. He blocks that Adele. If I counter this, he doesn't block that Adele. But he knows I have a counter spell. So he could also be baiting this for an even better spell to get through. So the question is, do I actually just want to get rid of the Orcish, Orcish Bowmaster? So on board, you know that if I have this, I can ping one thing, make an army, and then block... Well, armies and... can't block. 
No, they can block. Can they? Yeah. I thought armies can't block. We've had this conversation. Have we? Several times. Well, then I should absolutely counter it. That was where my thought process yeah, was. Yeah, if you don't counter this, this lets me... Uh, yeah, no, 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 yeah, yeah. Counter, counter that. Okay. Get something else through. Sorry, that was where my math was going, was right. like... So now I'm in a bit of a tough spot where it sets up my next play, but also if I let this hit, you can grab my Shadow Spear. Yeah. Or my Skull Clamp. Yeah. Or my Soul Ring. Yeah. So I think I'm going to throw Valentin under the bus here. Okay. Um, I take four, but yes. I gain one, so I take three. And this dies. <clears throat> Aether Bottle. Yeah. Pass. Tap three. I'm going to cast Vindicate, targeting your Thada Adele. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to play a Godless Shrine tapped, and I'm going to attack you for a bajillion. That should just be four now. Creature, land, instant. A bajillion. So I go to 10. I go to 23. 23? Go Jesus. ahead. Untap, 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 <clears throat> upkeep. Whoop. Draw for the turn. Whoop. Can't block it. Trundle in for four. I go to nine. Pat. Teen. <laughs> <laughs> go. <clears throat> Swamp. Yahini. Yahini. Actually a vampire. Yes, it's a vam <laughs> it's a vampire deck. Is it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh Yahini's fine. Combat. Yeah. Tech. Six. Six. Alright, I go to four. Sorry, hold on. I need to um put these. Uh, on Wheeler's side. There we go. Oh, sorry. What was your life totals? Uh, I Oh, I went down to four, and Wheeler was at 19. And I'm going up to 23. Great. Sorry, I just needed to add the uh, the change to Wheeler's deck name. The Vampires. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, go ahead. All right, uh, 23 to four. It's okay. I won the moral victory here, so it's going to go to two. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Uh huh. You know what the worst part about all this is? I'm sandbagging the seasoned engineer because I didn't want to get any crap from you. Oh two. yeah, the other the other good card in your hand, yeah. notably not a vampire. Oh, so we found a way to make uh, white flag oh, vampires no, no. win, and it's to play non vampires. What do you want me to play instead of some of these? I don't know, man. You you tell me if you you know. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> Combat. Uh huh. Double block. You hate me? Yeah, it's gonna die. Sure. You I... should sacrifice a creature to protect it. <laughs> no, I'm gonna I'm gonna layer your tricks. Oh there. man. Alright. Yeah, I got lands in oh. hand again. <laughs> Oofa Ladoofa. So Vampires, unbeatable. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Vampires. I don't feel as though this was emblematic of uh, this matchup, nor the quality of these individual decks. Mm. I will say, black-white creatures that gain you life get bigger and uh, scale well, yeah. um, backed by removal and discard. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty good. Well, I don't even think... Well, we had a little bit of removal in the first game. We had the, we had the, uh, the sword in the first game. Yeah. The second game was just... I don't know what happened there. I kind of blacked out for half a second. I did kind of run you over that. Game. Yeah. Um, I Which... think it's funny. I think this particular matchup right here uh, benefits the Vampire's deck because the Vampire's deck is built the way uh, Typole decks are built when they don't have enough support. In that there's this thing where... Think of goblins. It's sure. got its own identity. Yeah. Think of elves. It has its own identity. Right. Like, what does the vampire deck do right now? It's vampires right. plus the best spells in your colors. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, And yeah, yeah. while it did get a lot of juice towards the, the actual vampire cards, I mean, all joking aside, the vampire cards showed up. They were oh pretty good. Oh, my God. Right? Well, Cordial Vampire and Welcoming Vampire in the first game? Yep. Unbelievable. Yeah. Like, yeah. the synergy between the two of those? Like, that, that felt... Really impressive. Soren really is an absurdly powerful yeah. card in the right yeah. circumstance. And it's also a plus one on both abilities, which I didn't realize. Right. Yeah. So 
It is still built like the old school kind of like around a central creature type, um, which benefits it because I'm naturally going to have more removal yeah. and I'm just going to play chunkier, more you know greedy cards yeah. in hopes that they push me along the way. Merfolk is more of a targeted build. It has an identity. Sure. And so like this is like in a weird case, Merfolk is going to do better against higher tiered decks than it would against stuff like this. I mean, I don't really feel... So two things that I felt were lacking in this deck, because I, I ripped the list straight from you. Yeah. I felt like I was lacking card selection. Sure. Because um, we're not playing Preordain, we're not playing Ponder, we're not playing a lot of those cantrips and sort of stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And I, I feel like I flooded all three games. And I feel like maybe with a little bit of card selection, I would have been able to shuffle those away or dig through them. Because like my mulligans were only ever two or three landers. Yeah. And then... And then I had very little disruption. Like, I had a proactive game plan as the Merfolk deck, but as soon as you pulled ahead, mm -hmm. I didn't have any way to sort of deal with that. And the way this deck is structured is it has maybe one counterspell because it plays, I think, seven or eight counters, which statistically means you're going to get one or two per game yeah. on game length. They're right? mostly the free counterspells. Yeah, too. yeah, yeah. Counter counterspell proper is an outlier for that as sure. well. Sure. Which maybe that card should be... Maybe it should be only the free mm -hmm. counterspells plus a couple more tools to get some cards. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So that was, I don't know, that was that was sort of my, my, my feedback on this. The new Merfolk are obviously sweet. Yeah. Uh, I want this deck to be really good. I don't know if it plays the way I, I like to approach Magic. Sure. Uh, or maybe, again, this is just the way the matchup went right there, that it just mm -hmm. never really felt like I had an in to sort of disrupt you once you got going. Which right. kind of neat. You didn't have any breathing room to weave in your stuff because I wasn't spending time cantripping or yeah. casting. Yeah, and then, like if you looked at... I, we should have maybe taken an extra second to show the audience the keeps that I had for the sevens because mm -hmm. they all were what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. Except I had a lack of one drops. You'll notice that every game I played, I did nothing on one. Yeah. I just fetched for something else. But there's not really a huge density here. There's like and, seven of them. And that's where I'd be more interested in having those cantrips. Like right. that turn one of just do something, develop the next couple turns, sculpt it out, and be able to pivot. Because once you got ahead of the speed, uh, there's just it, it just doesn't feel like there's enough interaction to really be able to change the, um, the game state there. But that could also just be my experience with the list. I don't know. You want to talk interaction? Yeah. Well, you can interact by going down to the comment section below to let us know what you thought of the match here, what you think of merfolk, vampires, all that jazz. And of course, you can check the description for the link to <laughs> patreon.com slash loadingreadyrun. Uh, because of all your support, we're able to do all this, including the deck list we played. You should probably look at those before you start talking shop in the comment section. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Thank you, Serge. My for pleasure. Me. No, thank you, Wheeler. Thank you to Ben on Tech. No problem. And thank you, viewer. I was indeed playing vampires. And if I hear anything else, I'm going to find you. Bye bye. Tell us what he was playing, what nope. your thought was. Nope. Vampires, baby, vampires.